Well, tonight there are still a lot of questions about what happened to Carly Russell. She's the Hoover woman who went missing for about 48 hours, sending the internet reeling trying to find her before she turned up safe at her parents' house. Our Shelby Myers in studio with us tonight to tell us about what she's found out about the case. And Shelby, you've got recordings of police dispatch calls the night she went missing. Yeah, I do, Lenise and Byron. You can hear police say they're looking for a toddler that Carly Russell said she saw on the side of I-459. And when they got there, Carly nor the toddler were anywhere to be found. Russell's family is sending out a new statement tonight saying Carly was abducted and they won't be bullied by false narratives. I'm around to the interstate as well. Can you give me a description on the child? And were they southbound, walking southbound? 10 4, southbound, walking southbound. More questions than answers tonight as police investigate what happened to Carly Russell. Here's what we know Hoover PD says on Thursday, Russell called 911 claiming she saw a little boy walking on the side of I 459 in a diaper. It was a toddler, three, four year old, wearing a white t shirt. In a diaper, RP arrived in a red Mercedes. According to police, Carly then called a relative to tell them she was going to get out and check on the baby. The relative says she heard Carly scream and then nothing but sounds from the interstate. Just be advised her vehicle's unlocked, running, all her personal belongings except for her phone. When police got there, Carly was gone. Her Mercedes still running. Friends, family, and strangers on the internet did their part to find her. And then, perhaps a clue Saturday night. Montgomery Highway at the Red Roof Inn. Family members at this location saying they received a call from the female that's missing, Carly Russell. Family members say they showed up to knock on doors and find her, but she wasn't there. Carly's mother, Talitha Robinson Russell, taking to social media, saying in part, quote, There is one terrible and heartless hoax we want to address out of several. I received a text at some point from someone claiming to be Carly and that she was at the Red Roof Inn. However, when my family went there and knocked on doors and looked for her, and there was no indication Carly was there, nor that she had ever been there. A few hours later, Carly showed up at her family's home safe. None only passed. Adult female and responsive is breathing. Police are en route. Her family says Carly was abducted and fought for her life. Hoover police say they are continuing to retrace the 25-year-old nursing student's steps to determine where she was from Thursday night until Saturday night. And additionally, Hoover police say the 911 Carly made remains the only timely report of a child on I-459. And they are still investigating numerous pieces of evidence. In the studio tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.